What's going on guys? My name is Bear Witness and today we're going to be talking about the best beginner class setups or classes in Ghost War. Now I've been playing a lot of Ghost War lately and I kind of wanted to bring out a tips video because there is a lot of new players. They're constantly bringing in people with this new update. So that's why I wanted to show all the new players kind of what you're kind of looking for, where your position is supposed to be, and how you can play that to be the most effective and so you can get uh, different classes at higher levels. Now the first one we're going to start off with is Tank. Now this is one of the coolest ones and I think that anybody that plays as an OG, I don't necessarily like it myself, but it's pretty dope. Now. This tank allows you to take away the attention of anybody else that's marked. Say you have a sniper on the hill, he gets targeted. You can immediately take all the attention. All you have to do is run away, and it doesn't really matter if you get shot at because you have 115 health. This is one of the cooler classes based on the fact that you cannot be one-shotted by a sniper unless they shoot you in the face. So, he is equipped with an LMG so you guys don't have a problem suppressing enemies. And the P90. Good spray and prey weapons. Very effective. Next up. Next up, we have the Diversionist. Now, this is one of the preferred classes, in my opinion. I like this class a lot based on the fact that it revolves around messing with people a lot. You end up just kind of, you fly this drone. One, perk of the drone. It cannot be seen necessarily. Like, it's not targeted. As soon as you throw it up, nobody sees it. It's not even like people are like, oh, hey, you're going to see it. You know, this one, this drone cannot mark people, unlike the support drone or, or the scout drone that we're going to talk about later this one cannot mark anybody but you can ping targets and if you have thermal on you can kind of just ping targets as much as you want because they can't see you so you can keep just telling people oh, hey he's here he's here he's here so this becomes a very 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 affectionate uh, uh, affection effect what 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 am I trying to say effective there you go anyways I think I was going to say affection. Anyways, not the port, not important, not important. Next up, we have the scout class. Now this, I, I don't know if I should necessarily put it as number three or number two. But my number two is personal, personal preference. So I don't necessarily know if that's going to be everybody's like cup of tea. But yeah. So support scout drone. Absolutely uncanny. Like if they're moving... You can see them. It pings their location so you can fly over to them and mark them for your teammates. The only thing, the only downside is people tend to try to shoot these out of the drones knowing how effective they are. But when you're playing a team that doesn't really know what they're doing, completely worth it. Definitely something you want to pick up. Next up, we have the Ranger. Absolutely dope class. Had some of my best games with it. Some of my most clutch rounds with it. There is nothing like the versatility around this class. The ability to shoot people at a distance. You know, it takes uh, two bullets on most people. If they're, you know, a tank or anybody with extended health, might be, might be three bullets. But still, an effective killing machine at long range. Very effective up close. To her P, her PSG, I think, is what this one's called. Hold on one second. Yeah, the PSG, absolutely crazy. Definitely a dope thing to be running and super effective in close quarters. This is probably my favorite class. And last but not least, we have Point Man, the OG himself. This is probably an understatement, but I feel as if he's an essential part to any team, whether it is a whether it's competitive or casuals, he is essential. He is nice. The ability to not be suppressed, the ability to have extra health in gunfights with a really stable weapon, the AK-12 and the ACR are very effective weapons. I prefer the AK-12 in my opinion, but the ability to not be suppressed. Now, a funny thing has been happening with me the, over the last couple days. I'm not sure if people really know about it or not. I'm not sure if it's supposed to happen or not, but if multiple people are shooting at you, you will still be suppressed. Now, if it's 1v1, no, you should be fine. But if it's multiple people, you will be suppressed, and it does cause problems with gunfights. So don't just be running in all gung-ho. There's uh, certain ways that you want to go about you know, fighting each thing. Now, we're going to go back over these. With the tank and the point man, you're going to want to be anywhere between medium range. Like, you do not want to be taking long-range shots with the with these weapons. They are not very accurate at long range. I've even tried to tap fire with the AK-12. I, I have not had very much success. I find it a lot easier just to get up close and personal. The Marksman, we talked about it earlier. Definitely somewhere you can get close up to. Not even worried about it. 
but you can definitely take some distance and try to take pop shots at people as well. Either way, you're absolutely set. No worries. Scout, you're going to want to be super close, extra close quarters combat. But, I don't know. I, I generally would like to stay around the beacon and make sure that we sh we're supporting the beacon, popping out your scout drone as much as possible. But 9 times out of 10, you'll be at your scout drone more than you'll be actually in the fight, so you can kind of chill back if you want to. And that diversionist. I personally like playing this per this character at, at medium range, especially when we're playing objective-based me missions or um, I guess game modes is the preferred thing. Um, yeah, he's my mid-range guy. I think he's like one of the more versatile of the support classes, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think that's everything, guys. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys click that sub button. We're a couple of days away from Black Ops 4 Beta on Xbox, so I hope you guys are excited about that, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.